All right, today we're going to talk about a subject that I think everybody wants to, you know, have a little two cents on, their opinion about, and that's opinions. And, you know, we all have opinions about a whole lot of shit. And sometimes opinions can be a problem for some people when they talk because sometimes people think that their opinions are fact and that's not true. So we're going to elaborate on that. Now, it's maybe somebody watching like what's an opinion and yeah you might want to google that but um, I'm gonna give you my definition of opinion opinion is basically your thought feeling or take on something someone or a subject if that makes any sense you know your personal feelings about that situation that's what an opinion is okay so like, for instance, if I got a friend and he said he like apples and I say I like oranges and then he'd be like, why you like oranges? They nasty. Apples is the bomb. What you tripping? Like, you tripping. I can't believe I said the bomb. You tripping. And, um, why would you get upset or mad at somebody because they like something that you don't? Like, I see it every day. People want to, people like certain artists and things like that, and they say, why you like her? Da -da 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 -da. There's a lot of times where I be like, I don't know what you see in her, but if that's what you like, hey, I, I can't, it's not me, so I be, I don't give it, like, the thing about opinions is they're strong, like, they're strong, and especially depending on the person, it could, they have, have a very strong personality, and a strong ass opinion to go with that personality, and sometimes they come off kind of what's the word I'm looking for, kind of fucked up, that works, um, you know, towards you and towards your opinion towards something because they don't quite agree with it. Let me just say this, when you haven't, your feelings are not everybody else's feelings. So if I feel like the sky is a blue purple tint and you feel like it's solid blue, bitch, why are you going to argue me down about it? That's like somebody saying, I think that Trey Songs is the best singer in the world. And then somebody gonna say, I personally think that R. Kelly is better than Trey Songs. And then they get into a bickering war about who is better. Regardless of who is better, I could say that I think that Heidi Montag, whatever Montag, whatever that bitch name is, sings better than Britney Spears. They both got a very low, damn near no vocal range, but that's my opinion. You know, which is not true. I don't think that she can sing at all. At least Britney give you like, yeah, something. So anyway, um, sometimes I see it on Twitter and, you know, different places. Somebody will write something and then somebody will come behind them and say something real tacky, you know, trying to attack basically their feelings about how they feel about whatever the fuck the situation may be. And then you think to yourself like, why are you so invested? Why the fuck do you care about what I care about? Why? Why do you? Why are you so invested in the fact that I think that Beyonce is the greatest dancer in the world? Why are you mad about that? If that's your opinion, that's your opinion. And it's a lot of people on YouTube that state their opinion about a whole bunch of shit. And I never state my opinion on their page because you know what? That's their personal space. And I really don't give a fuck what they doing. You know? So if you on your shit talking about how you feel, that's fine. Now here's the problem. Um, when the whole, um, Little Kim versus That Girl situation came about, there was this one particular person who felt the need to go out of his way, and you know who you are because I'm sure you've been blocked on everything. Um, that, mm. So, um, been, basically, he was like, oh, Little Kim needs to get over it. Like, that's your opinion. True. But why are you telling me? That's the problem with people. They want to bombard you with their opinion about something that you really don't give a fuck about. Bitch, I wouldn't give a fuck what you thought. I'm not following you on Twitter, so that means I could give a fuck about what you're doing. You followed me. That's what people fail to realize. You're in my personal space. You followed me. So whatever I write, it can't be debated before the simple fact that's how I feel. You're here by choice. I didn't ask you to come here. You came here. So if you go somewhere, YouTube, Twitter, somebody's house, you respect their opinion of the things that they do. If it's not your shit, shut the fuck up. Because it has nothing to do with you. But a lot of people really feel like they have say-so in other people's lives. You don't have say-so. You can state your opinion true. But your opinion is not fact. 
some people will speak as if they're speaking from fact and then you tell accent to back up these facts and they can't give you one fucking anecdote that will help them back up their motherfucking argument. That's the saddest part of all. So, you know, if you have an opinion about something, by all means, say it and be and stand behind it. But make sure that what you're saying has fact, rhyme and reason behind it, and if somebody does not agree with you, then Okay, and what's with the people saying because, let's say, you guys know who I don't like, or whatever, y'all know who I don't like, or whatever, and, um, and, um, I don't, I don't too much care for her, or whatever, I don't hate her, but, you know, I don't too much care for her, but people want to say, oh, you're a hater because you don't like her, I'm a hater because I have an opinion, I'm a hater because I don't like what's out right now, like, bitch, See, this is the thing. A lot of times the people today, they 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 will follow whatever's going on. Bitch, if people was wearing rabbit ears, they will get them some gangsta ass rabbit ears because that's what's going on. And I'm the type of person I like to stem away from what the fuck's going on. And when you do that, you're automatically labeled a hater because you don't agree. Bitch, it's a call I have my own mind. And I don't do the shit that other bitches do. That's what you like people fell to realize about pe me and other people. Is that there are us people in the world who decide to think for ourselves and not saying because you like her that there's anything wrong with it but because I don't that doesn't make me a hater that means that makes me not a fan you feel me I don't knock what nobody else do but if the person is not for me they not for me but all of a sudden I'm a hater and bitch really I'm a hater because I got a mind that's sad to know for the simple fact that it says a lot about where the fuck we are today and what's going on with our youth and music and entertainment that you if you don't fall into the trend or like my auntie likes to call it the cult way of living these days then you know you're automatically doomed a hater an outcast oh you don't know what real music like it's called like we all have them we all have opinions but you have to make sure that you respect another person's opinion and respect what they're saying to you and a lot of times when you respect what someone else is saying to you you can learn a lot as well and there's been times where I wanted to argue somebody down about something and then I sat back and listened to what they were saying and it made a whole shit lot of sense so I'm like you know what I'm learning to shut the fuck up sometimes and a lot of times people need to learn to shut the fuck up as well like I said people come on my page and voice their opinion about how they feel uh, one person asked me I think that you calling her that girl is rude and disrespectful and for you to be somebody who uplifts someone that you shouldn't be calling nobody out their name. I didn't call her bitch. I didn't call her hoe. I didn't call her gutter, sput, gutter butt slut jack swag jack and ass bitch. I didn't call her that at all. I just said that girl because I choose to not disclose her name on my channel. That's not what we're about here. But my question to you and I know you, you're watching, because a couple of my subscribers got on you about that, um, is why in the hell do you care? That's how I feel on my channel, in one of my videos. You know, my mom always taught me, if you don't have nothing nice to say on somebody else's shit, don't say it at all. I can't go to your house and say I hate your couch. Even though that's how I feel, that's disrespectful, I'm in your shit. So why would you come in my shit and, and voice your opinion like that and... and and you're taught it is one thing to voice how you feel but you told me that I was wrong because that's how I felt and that's how I wanted to talk on my shit I didn't go to your page and say that you, you see what I'm saying though that whole little situation right there could have been avoided if she would have just basically said how she felt to me in a respectful way but she felt the need that she had the right because she's a subscriber to come to me and say whatever the fuck she wanted however the fuck she wanted and that does not fly with me. And y'all know that don't fly with me. You can't run my shit. Know that. You can't. And you will not run my shit. So yeah. I just wanted to come real quick. Because people in this opinion shit be killing me. And I just don't get it. So anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope everybody's having a great week. I want to give a shout out to Muffins is my lover. A.K.A. April. She's so sweet to me. She always comes through and says hello. And I want to give a special thanks to Quincy Chase. Who is like, I always forget to shout him out because he's so quiet, but he is the sweetest. But have you just met somebody who was just sweet and nice? I love you, Quincy. And you know why I love you? Because you are just great. Like, you're just, you're fabulous. I love you. 
so anyway i love all my new subscribers what's up thank you guys for coming through and saying hello and checking me out and telling your friends and your family and i will see you guys later i promise have a nice weekend bye